really don't want to stay home and go to school, but it's the only opportunity I have. So I go to Towson, I set out. It was so crazy when I set out my sophomore year, after my sophomore year, going to my junior year. I got in school so late that I had, I was on an overflow at Goucher College. Oh, wow. That's so we had to catch a bus every day from Goucher College to Towson University, okay. which is okay. five, six minutes. On Goucher's campus? Yeah, we, we, wow. I, I was in an overflow. Wow, okay. I was the only basketball player ever stayed at Goucher College, ever. Mm. And that was my sit-out year. So the only thing I got to do was practice with the team. And I went to school. Also, that helped me academically because now I can stay on the path of getting my degree now, this whole year, uh, I've got to worry about basketball. All I do is practice. When the team travel, I stay, I stay here, and I focus on my schoolwork. It helped me out tremendously. So now I'm on Goucher College campus the whole year. Boom. I'm at Towson. At practice, coach is giving me the green light because I'm on the scout team. Facts. So now I'm building confidence on the scout team. I'm starting to feel like I'm back in high school again my senior year. Playing, scoring points, and practice, and all that. So now, not only that, I sit on the bench and watch everybody in our conference that who's going to be I'm playing against next year. So all the games that I got to watch and conference play at home, I get to say, hey, I get to go against them. So Teresa Smith voted me for well, preseason newcomer of the year in the conference. Boom, boom. I gotta say to myself, I gotta live up to this expectation. You come out of the conference, boom, boom, boom. So, season comes in, my, my junior year. Comes in, starting to play, starting to practice. I'm getting a lot of same feeling that I got last year on the scout team. Coaches let me go. Mm -hmm. Junior year, average 25 points a game. 25 a game. 13th in the country in score. Yes, sir. Player of the year in the conference. Mm -hmm. Boom. Coming my senior year. Preseason pick, player of the year. Boom, 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 boom. Bam. Teams start running boxing ones on me. Boom. I say, how can I top what I did last year? My senior year. Going into the conference tournament. Never forget this, man. It's, it's always it always haunt me. They ran a boxing one on me. Going into the, the semifinals of the conference tournament. I scored four points. Mm -hmm. I'll leave out the arena upset. Tears in my eyes. The whole media from Baltimore, Evening Sun, News America, all of them standing outside like waiting for me to come out. I stopped and I had to be a man and address the press. I addressed the press. They all thank me. All thank me. Because I could have walked away from the press. I don't want to talk. I had a bad game. I let my teammates down. We lose. Senior years, my senior year. Work out all summer, boom, 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 boom. Lift the weights, running track, boom, boom, boom. Doing all the things I need to do to get ready because I got to top what I did my junior year, my senior year, because now I'm on everybody's scouting report. Start the season off, we play Howard at 30-something first game. Mm -hmm. I thought, oh, okay. Boom. Now, my senior year, we got a chance to go to the NCAA tournament. I went to the NCAA tournament my freshman year, West Kentucky, and my sophomore year. Both years. I ain't go my junior year, but they ran a box of one on me. Boom. Now we're in a championship playing Lehigh at Towson Center. I'm having a game. We win. Boom. I'm going to NCAA tournament. Yes. <laughs> so now we play Oklahoma. Oklahoma's number one team in the country. Oh. I never forget that I had 30, but I shot terrible. I was like nine for 20 something. On Oklahoma. Yeah, first Oklahoma. round. First round. Tied up two minutes left in the game. We tied up. Wanna believe in about like four, six, something like that. But my point guard, Devin Boyd, who was a rookie of the year, my junior year. I think first team or second team. He ain't scored. He was my second leading scoring team. He ain't scored. He scored his 16 points a game. Yeah. We win. We beat the number one team in the country. We lose. After the game, my, my college career is done. So I got invited to Portsmouth All-Star Game. Which was a big thing back then. Back then, Paul right. Smith was huge. I played okay. He wanted to see me run the point because I played two at Towson Boom. I ran the point for one. Because I ain't played the point since my freshman sophomore year at West Kentucky. So I played the point. Then I got invited to Chicago pre-draft camp, mm. which is huge. Very. 
They all the first round picks going through. It, man, it was huge. Nervous as I don't know what. My roommate was a guy named David Benoit who played Alabama. He was a second round pick at Utah Jazz at that time. So now they telling me Reader's Digest, I'll probably go third or fourth round. Mm. But in 1990, they shrunk the rounds from six rounds to two rounds. Oh. Now, I don't get drafted. Right. But everybody's calling me, these agents calling me, you're going to get drafted. But they shrink the rounds. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. So that hurt me. I didn't get drafted. Boom. I signed with an agent out of Philadelphia called um, Sports Pro Management. I signed with them. They was at Port Smith. Boom, boom, boom. I didn't really know about no agents back then. You know what I'm saying? I'm a new, I'm a new kid from the hood. Boom, boom, boom. Right. So I signed with Sports Pro Management. They got me a tryout with the Dallas Mavericks Summer League out, out in Vegas. That was at Loyola Marymount. I didn't get drafted. I played good, though. Started me at the point. Boom, boom, boom. Played good. Played against New Jersey Nets. Killed them. After Summer League was over with, they invited me to a three-day camp before the veterans started in October. I killed that. Is the, this the Maverick still? Or no. Jersey? It's, it's Jersey. Okay. Jersey. Jersey. After you killed them, they invite you to the three-day. Three-day gotcha. camp before gotcha. the veterans come in. Mm -hmm. I killed it. Veterans mm -hmm. come in. Now, I'm wearing number 41 mm -hmm. as a point guard. <laughs> they already telling me I'm getting cut. <laughs> I, I go in the locker room. I got 41. So, anyway, training camp starts. They had, no, they, had two, they had two picks. The pick, number one pick was Derek Coleman at Yale Syracuse. Their second round pick, no, number one pick was Derek Coleman. The last pick in the first round was a guy named Tate George out of Connecticut, point guard. And they picked Judd Bushler, a second round pick. They had three picks that year. Judd Bushler. We started the year off with, I made the team. I went to my room, screamed like I don't know what, man. I made the team, man. We started the year off with four point guards. Mookie Blaylock, Tate George, mm. Lester Connor, and me. Our only two guard was Reggie Theus. Wow. Yeah, because none of those guys were probably slides to the two at all. None of them. So I wasn't even supposed to make the team. But you got I on. made the team. Got on. I got on. I played. First game of the year against the Indiana Pacers, I was the first guard to come off the bench. But before we get to that point, mm -hmm. Preseason games. I was the first guard to come off the bench. Coach coming to me. Bill Fitz was my coach coming to me. He might not play tonight. Rook. I'm like, oh, I'm fine. I ain't tripping. I don't even, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm in. Mm -hmm. Boom. They made the final roster spot after the last after the, after the the last preseason game they cut. And I was on that roster spot. So we was leaving the next day to go to Indiana to play against the Indiana Pacers. I'm on that, on that, on that, on, on that bus going to the airport. On that plane, go get on the plane, going to Indiana. Had my own little bag with my name on it. Now, I signed with Converse because Converse was our shoe contract out at Towson. So I'm on there the whole year, just rocking and rolling, just playing. Mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, coach come to me one day and say, Rook, we got to play Tate George. Front front office management is complaining about we drafted Tate George when they don't get to play. You out, you been out playing him? Fine. So I slide to the in the bench. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't draft it anyway. Mm -hmm. Then they had to make a trade, so they need another two guard. We got four point guards. We traded for Drazen Petrovic. We got rid of Lester Carney, brought in Drazen Petrovic. Boom. Now we got two guards. We got Reggie Thiers and Drazen Petrovic. Three point guards. Me, Mookie, and Tate George. Boom. So the season went on, season went on. So after the season, I went back to summer camp trying to sign a long-term deal or two-year deal. Wound up getting played good in the, in the summer league out in Detroit, out in Vegas. Wound up going to the Washington Bullets at that time, mm -hmm. training camp. Boom. No, went to Miami Heat. That year I went to I went to Washington Bullets, but I went to Miami Heat first. My fuck. Excuse my language. You good. You are people, good. <laughs> people told me I was going to make the team. Coming off the bench, playing, shooting. Illegal defenses in a, in a, in a, um in the um games in the preseason games sitting 
And don't forget this new, new bowl locker right here, my locker right here. So they want to pull me to the side after one preseason game and say, hey, we, we're going to try to make a trade for Danny Manny, for Willie Burton, and Glenn Rice to get you a roster spot. Couldn't make the trade. Boom. They released me. That's in Miami. That's in Miami. Because Miami, I did read that Miami wanted you. I did read that, that they had very strong interest in you, and it was definitely something Listen, that I was playing out. in Miami. Facts. I was playing. I I mean, illegal defense. Kurt, go up there and shoot it. I'm shooting free throws. Damn. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Pulled me to the side and told me this. This is a 1,000% true story. We're going to try to get you a roster spot by trading Two guys for one. We try and get Danny Manning, get rid of Glenn Rice and Willie Burton. 